You can bet in a heartbeat that I make quality videos. Teaching paddling courses to kids is so much fun because without fail, every class will have one or two children who are terrified to the point of tears about getting into the canoe. And every time I ask them what they're most afraid of, I ask genuinely, what do you think is the worst thing that could possibly happen to you today? If something horrible happens to you today, what will that thing be? And it's always that the boat will capsize, that they'll fall in, etc. In summer courses, the answer is easy. I just walk into the water wearing my life jacket, start floating and say, this is what it looks like when your boat capsizes and you fall in. I'm doing it right now. I fell in. If it's chilly out and I don't want to spend all day wet, I tell them, want to know something funny? We're going to capsize on purpose later. We have to learn how to capsize so that we know how to help ourselves when it happens on accident. Do you think we'd do something on purpose that's dangerous? What will happen is that we will all fall in the water and our life jackets will hold us up. I know that because it's my job to check your life jacket. Then we'll all float around until we get back in our boats, and then we'll go inside and change. The worst part of it all is that you'll be soggy. This has never failed me. They always calm down, get in the boat, and end up having fun the entire time. Time and time again, the unknown is the ultimate fear, and a little bit of patience at the start is all it takes to keep things running smoothly. All that said, my favorite kids are the funny ones who clearly respond well to humor, so I get to tell them, I can absolutely guarantee that no one is going to drown today. I would never let that happen, because I don't want to have to fill out the paperwork. Me. What's gonna happen? Crying child. I'll fall in the lake. Falls into the lake on purpose. Like this? Huh? Oh! That's sweet and honestly so true. Kindness and patience can go a long way. 